Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft has rolled out a new beta channel build this week. To the beta channel insiders, Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 22635.2841. And that's rolled out with the update KB5032286. Now there's quite a lot going on in the beta channel for this week. And just a reminder that for insiders in the beta channel, who want to be the first to get features, you need to have this toggle turned on in Windows Update. Get the latest updates as soon as they are available, which also applies, as many of you will know, to the stable version. Now, changes and improvements that are gradually being rolled out to the beta channel with the toggle turned on are that the steps recorder, and we've actually mentioned this with a previous uh, Insider build, but the steps recorder will not receive further updates and is planned for removal in a future Windows release. So basically the steps recorder, as you can see, um, is very similar to what we get with the snipping tool. And as far as I can uh, recollect, this started rolling out with Windows 7. And uh, starting in this build, in the beta channel for this week, the steps recorder, also known as psr.exe, will display a new banner notification to guide users towards alternative options like using the snipping tool, Xbox Game Bar, or Microsoft Clip Champ. So this is just another indication that Microsoft is um, further de-bloating the Windows 11 operating system, which they have been doing in a couple of the updates in the Insider channel over the last couple of weeks. Now, if we head over to nearby sharing, there's a little update rolling out for this where if you turn on nearby sharing via quick settings uh, or directly in settings as I'm doing now and you have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off, it will turn Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on so nearby sharing will work as expected. And if you turn off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, it will also turn off nearby sharing. And I actually think that's a small yet I think a significant change um, which has now made its way into the beta channel. Now, fixes gradually been rolled out to the beta channel with the toggle turned on. There are three rolling out for the task manager. And just to go through these quickly. Um, they've done some work to help improve the performance when expanding the navigation pane in task manager. So there's a bit of a performance boost with that navigation pane. They fixed an issue which was causing a task manager crash when changing always on top mode, which can be located in the settings always on top. So um, they fixed an issue with that always on top mode. And they also fixed an issue where the drop downs in settings, the drop down menus, apparently would float up the screen if you scrolled. So a couple of little small improvements there being made uh, this week in this latest beta channel inside a preview board for the task manager. Now, new features gradually being rolled out to everyone in the beta channel. And I think this is one that a lot of users, including myself, are going to be happy to see if and when this makes its way into the stable version. Because uh, the new widgets, uh, there are new widget board settings with more ways to customize the widget board. And one of the new settings, as we can see, enables you to just show widgets, show or hide feeds on your widgets board. And another makes it easy for you to discover how to personalize uh, your feed content. So this setting here, show or hide feeds, choose which feeds appear on your board. I think this is a nice move and this means that it will enable you to just show widgets without the news feed. And I think this has been a long time coming and as mentioned, I think a lot of users, including me, are going to be very happy when that rolls out to the stable version. Just being able to declutter uh, the widget board and get rid of the news feed and just have your widgets um, available on the actual board. So a nice move there. And then uh, changes and improvements gradually been rolled out to everyone in the beta channel. And this has actually made its way into the stable version of Windows 10 and also Windows 11, where if we head to apps, there used to be an optional features um, menu on this page, on the apps page. This applies to both Windows 10 and Windows 11, as mentioned. Now, if we head to the system page, that's been moved from the um, apps page to the system page. So yeah, you'll see if you scroll down near the bottom, we get optional, 
optional features. So if we click on that, here we get all the optional features that can be installed and are installed um, on Windows 11. And as mentioned, this change is actually available in the stable versions of both operating systems as well. Now, with that all out of the way, that's basically what's new and improved uh, for this week. But there are fixes for everyone in the beta channel, which is a long list of fixes that have rolled out with uh, the update for this week, as mentioned, KB5032286. And they are very similar to what rolled out to the stable version of Windows 11, version 22H2 and version 23H2. Uh, recently, which I did post on earlier today. So I will leave that video down below because um, I don't want to repeat myself in this video. If you want to know what all the fixes are all about, go check that video out. As mentioned, uh, it'll be in the description box below. So that's more or less what's new uh, in this week's uh, latest beta channel build, 22635.2841. And the good news, as mentioned, it seems that we may be able to declutter the widget board in an up and coming update to the stable version where we can turn off this news feed and just have the appropriate widgets being displayed. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.